Good morning, Eagle Nation. This is Brian Shelton, Athletic Director here at Big Wana High School. This is episode five of Big Wana Athletics in the Know. I've got coaches Jack Reel and Aaron Renner with us this morning, our wrestling coaches. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you today? Good morning, sir. Great. Good morning. Great. Hey, we're going to get to know both of you a little bit to start. So starting with Coach Renner, maybe could you just share a little bit about yourself, how long you've been around Big Wana, how long you've been coaching wrestling, a little bit about your family? Yeah. Um, so a little bit about myself. I'm. Uh, I've been in the area. Uh, I grew up in Hudson, Ohio. Came down to a good Ohio State, and I've been um, in this area since. I've been in the Big Walnut area um, somewhere 20, 25 years now. Uh, I have wife, three kids, uh, one a daughter who's in college, and two boys in high school. Um, as far as coaching goes, uh, I was seven years as the assistant officially as the assistant. Um, coach uh, at the high school under Luke, and then I've been the head coach for two years. And then currently right now, you're a Columbus firefighter, right? That's your full-time job? I am. I'm a captain with uh, Columbus Division of Fire, correct. And then uh, Coach Real, uh, same question to you. How long have you been coaching wrestling and been the big one in the area? And anything about your family? Sure. Uh, I moved here as a senior in high school. I didn't go to school at Big Walnut, but uh, I moved up here my senior year. I've been here since then, about 35, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, years. I'm old. Um, uh, I just retired in October as a from Columbus Fire Department after 30 years. I was a deputy chief there. I uh, started coaching in the early 90s as a volunteer assistant with Delaware's program at middle school and high school, and then uh, started here at Big Walnut uh, four years ago at the middle school, did two years there. Uh, as assistant, and then uh, moved up to the high school last or two years ago with uh, with Coach Renner as the assistant coach there. And uh, I'm I'm local. I live here and have a wife that lives with me and a son that uh, doesn't. He's married and off on his own right now. So um, that's that's me. That's great. And then uh, this is your second year together. You know, being a head and assistant coach at the wrestling program, and in the second year alone, you guys won the OCC championship. Uh, that was pretty exciting this year, Coach Real and Coach Renner. Could you talk about that a little bit? Maybe Coach Renner, talk about how exciting that was for the program and the kids. And obviously beating New Albany in that last night was always fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can't really say enough uh, good things about this season. Um, when, you, when you look at, you know, how the season went and injuries and people stepping up at different times and, you know, we went uh, 12 and five in dual meets and obviously five and zero uh, in the OCC. But every time, you know, somebody was down, somebody else stepped up and, you know, we didn't have any, you know, it was, it was just nice to see them. The kids just stepped up when it was their, their time. You know, we always talked about there's times, there's times in your career that you just need to step up and, you know, beat somebody that uh, you're not supposed to beat on paper. And uh, we did that throughout the year when we were down people with injuries and illness and, um, and other things. And, you know, I believe, I think it, coach real, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think three of those dual meets were within one match. Yep. You know, it came down to one match. So it was a pretty exciting time. And you probably would say the Groveport match probably was the key, the key match, right. To, to put us on top of that in the division. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We've been battling them, having one, you know, <laughs> we just came up on the right side this year. Um, I think the last two, the previous two years, we had lost by, you know, coming down to one match also. Sure. And then moving on to Max, I mean, I just cannot, my heart breaks. I mean, you may even think about saying his name. I mean, I know I talked to him a few weeks before we got out of school and you know, he was excited about possibly going to state and possibly making the podium. Uh, this future, you know, was really bright in the state tournaments. And next thing you know, here comes, you know, the coronavirus. So I know you had talked to Max yourself and you had to give him the news that the winter tournaments were canceled. Could you just talk about Max a little bit and how he's handling it? And, you know, and uh, just, I mean, obviously we're all devastated for him. Yeah. Um, you know, like you said, the biggest word is heartbreaking there for a kid who did everything right, um, you know, wrestled in the summers and, put all that time in. Um, but he handled it like I figured he would. Mm -hmm. Um, we had talked quite a bit about it. He understands the situation. 
And, uh, you know, that kid, you know, we, we mentioned it in several different things, but, you know, he truly is a gentle giant. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just the nicest kid ever. I can think back, you know, I have memories of, you know, a couple of years ago at summer at one of the summer camps that we had, you know, and I look over and there's Andrew Parker, all 95 pounds, you know, sitting on Max's lap while they were watching a movie. And, uh, you know, the, the kids came back one day and, you know, gave us an example of how Max, uh, you know, stepped up in the lunchroom when some kids were picking on some uh, developmentally challenged kid. And that's just the kind of kid he is, you know, and then, you know, as well as I do, you know, between football and wrestling, he just flips that switch when he goes out on the, on the mat. So this year, you know, he only had his truly two losses. He lost to the same kid twice. And we really felt um, that he did have an opportunity to get on the podium. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately that, you know, life sometimes not fair, but he, uh, he took it in stride. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're obviously devastated for him and we're going to do all we can to recognize him. And uh, I put out a post last week and I know you guys recognized him all year. So we wish Max the best. And I would love to get a fifth year out of him if possible, but I don't think those are going to let happen. <laughs> that makes three of us. <laughs> Moving on to our two dynamic girls and moving on to Coach Real here. Um, you know, I remember going to Orange earlier in the year and, you know, hearing girls wrestling come up for the first time, you know, it's, that was so exciting. I went to Orange and that gym was packed. There were so many girls in there. I mean, I think there were close to a hundred girls in there competing. And then next thing you know, Callie and Aaliyah have these great seasons and they both go on and make state and then they place in state and the whole, the whole girls wrestling thing this year was just awesome to watch. And now Coach Real, I just – I remember watching you at every match. You were so involved in both of those girls and helping them and, and just see your smile on your face right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about our two girls. Well, it's – it's you know, both Coach Renner and I uh, believe that our job is to, to create better people, not just create better wrestlers. And those two girls in that room this year created better people. Sure. Um, our, our, our team – uh, you know, regardless of how they feel about girl athletes wrestling or anything like that, man, they, they just embrace those ladies. Uh, and, and, and likewise, those ladies stepped up and, and showed true toughness in a lot of cases. Uh, neither one of them ever complained about a workout. Uh, they never, you know, we, we moved Callie around different weights to, to have her wrestle in our, in our boys matches, uh, to help us out as a team. And, and, uh, and Aaliyah, you know, took a beating at 145 all year long, uh, and neither one of them complained. They never said, I can't do it, nothing. Uh, they are truly tough ladies, um, and they're nice. Mm -hmm. You know, they, uh, they really stepped up uh, and helped us win the OCC. Um, and then, you know, in the, this year was just so awesome to have the girls program kick off uh, and have, have individual tournaments for the girls and, and some other things. When that started happening, um, it, it, it's happened sooner than both of us thought it would. Uh, we thought it'd happen eventually, but uh, for it to take off this year was just amazing. Um, I, I, you know, I remember that time at Orange taking them to our first, you know, girls only tournament over at Orange and uh, they were both excited. I, I really, you know, wasn't sure how we'd do. The, um, Cali, Cali was ranked at the time in the state, but had never faced any of these girls. Um, in, in high school matches. Uh, Aaliyah was an unknown since she had taken a couple years off of wrestling, so she wasn't ranked anywhere. Um, and we came out of that tournament with a second and a third place, or a first and a third place, and an overall, or first and second place, and an overall a most valuable wrestler. Aaliyah was the most valuable wrestler. She just went through the field. Um, and, you, you know, it's the, the amazing thing about girls wrestling that I – that I saw in all the tournaments we went to is it is, it's a game changer for girls athletics. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be big. You don't have to be tall. You don't have to be um, fast. You don't have to be any, any particular, you, you know, athlete. You just have to be willing to go out there and, and learn and, and, and challenge yourself. Um, you know, it's, it's, it just was amazing to see these girls from all over the state that maybe had never had an athletic outlet before 
mm-hmm. and came out for wrestling and and found their groove. There were girls that had never wrestled before that that won a state championship this year in girls wrestling. And that was just awesome. I just love seeing it. I'm, I can't wait to see where the program goes in the future. Um, I just think it's, I think it just will be an opportunity for a lot of girls that haven't had an opportunity to be athletic in the past. You know, I just want to say kudos to all the wrestling coaches in Ohio. I mean, <clears throat> this was driven by the wrestling coaches and it has exponentially grown already. I can imagine what it's going to be in the next five, 10 years. So very exciting for girls wrestling, girls in general, and obviously Kelly and Aaliyah. Uh, moving back to Coach Renner here, second year of the head coach, coming in the next year would be your third year. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on moving forward with the program? Well, it's, uh, the future is exciting right now. Um, we're only losing a couple seniors this year. And, uh, you know, and Max and um, Christian and Ryan and Aaliyah. And, uh, you know, we have, we're going to have a strong group of juniors coming back, most of which who have been wrestling, um, you know, varsity in the varsity lineup since they were freshmen. And they've really kind of hit that turning point um, right now. So it's pretty exciting to think, you know, um, you know, Andrew Parker, who had, you know, my went, I don't have a chart in front of me here, but, you know, we had multiple kids, you know, up there. Andrew with, I think, 36 wins, led the team at 36. And um, Vince, who will be a sophomore next year with 30 wins, and Wyatt with 30 wins. And, you know, and then you start jumping down to the O'Malley's. And, you know, I don't want to go through and, you know, leave it out. But we had multiple, multiple sophomores with, you know, 20 to 30 wins, which, which was great for us. And, uh, you know, we'll be getting a few up from the middle school next year. So it's exciting. And we hope to also have add, uh, you know, a couple more girls to the team and uh, which, which should be another busy, a busy season, which is our numbers, um, you know, having, you know, I think we started with 29 or something finished maybe with 27, which is the most we've had since, I've been a part of the program. Um, it's certainly challenging for the coaching staff, you know, and I can't, Coach Real and I can't say enough about our volunteer assistants. You know, we have about six of them. Um, but between a full varsity schedule, a pretty full JV schedule, and then with the girls' uh, schedule, I'm really spreading everybody pretty thin around here. Yeah. Coaches, I appreciate your time this morning. You both do a great job. You're two dynamic coaches. Our kids are lucky to have both of you. So I'm, as your AD, I'm thankful and grateful that you are leading my program. And uh, hopefully you're around a long time. Hopefully you don't plan on retiring from wrestling anytime soon. I know Jack's retired from his job, but I hope you keep coaching wrestling a long time. Our kids truly benefit from your leadership. I thank you. Um, Eagle Nation, this is Brian Shelton. I'm going to be checking out here episode five with Big One Ethics and a No. We'll have this posted this afternoon. Coaches, have a great day. You too. Thank you, sir. Thank you.